Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Portable Gaming, and welcome back to Upton Farm. So if you look in the HUD, top corner, you can see that it is day 7 now. We left the afternoon of day 3, was the last time we were here. I haven't done any work off camera. We still need to run the Power Harrow over field 32. And I believe everything has been, everything that can have two coats of FERT does. Right, Field 32 does as well. So the T8 and the Power Harrow are over at the store. And the T8 also needs an oil change before we get started. So it's 5.30, but our, our equipment dealer in the shop, they open very early. Take care of the farmers in this area. So we'll get going. We'll take the fast track, and on the way over there, Try to think of anything that we can get at the store while we're there and bring back with us. Save a trip. So I've been off this map for a, a day or so. I've been off this sim for a day or so of real life, real time. So it's possible that we are going to be loading scenery as we move across the map and we might see some frame drop and stuttering. The reason I've been off this sim as I spent all day yesterday, Saturday, uh, trying to fix a set of Corsa. I fired up a set of Corsa and I had 5 FPS and that's that's not working. 5 FPS is no good. Uh, 8 I'll do, 10 I'll do, but 5, that's just too slow. So there was a new driver from NVIDIA that had downloaded there were some other things. I don't, I'm not running any mods in a set of Corsa. I'm between a set of Corsa and project cars. I am so uh, overwhelmed by content. I really haven't even felt the need to get into mods. Not yet. It'll happen. Now, farm sim, whole different story. I, I have 500 mods in my mod folder. I only run about 100 at a time. And 20 to 30 of those are, are not really, I don't think of them as mods. It's things like, seasons and more realistic and gearbox so they are they are mods but they're not when i think of mods i think of tractors and implements you get what i'm saying so a set of course was broken and i spent all day messing with it and was never able to fix it i was never able to figure out what the problem was so eventually i uninstalled it and i'm going to download i've got patches on on my version that I have uh, updates I guess so I'm going to start with uh, rather than the the older version that I had with updates I'm going to start with the most current V of project cars reinstall that today and see what happens but yeah I was I was at a loss I tried save games I tried uh, I tried everything. I tried everything I, I could think of. I rolled back drivers. I tried various settings. I even went in and took the graphics down to potato mode. And I was only able to, with everything, as far as graphics, everything either on the lowest setting possible or in some cases actually turned off for things like reflections and, and uh, high-res mirrors, that sort of thing. I was at about 12 FPS, so clearly there was a problem. Something, something went wrong. It, it, it's, you know, the the expectations that we have in PC world are. It, it's PC world is so different than console world, and I'm not putting console down at all. I love console. PC world is just. I guess it's on you in. In console world, because there are a lot less things that you can do as, as far as changes that you can make. And then corresponding to that, things that you can fix. Well, if there's less things that you can mess with, there's less things to break, which means there's less things to fix. In the PC world, it, it's just the opposite. opposite of that. There's a lot that you can mess with, so there's a lot that you can break. And sometimes you can mess with something over here, like in this case, maybe I did something that had nothing to do with a set of Corsa, but it affected a set of Corsa. 
and that's not always the case in console world. So it's a, I, it's not a struggle. I mean, we do this to ourselves. If I felt that bad about it, if it was that frustrating, I could just go get an Xbox X and an Elgato and call it good. But I like I like PCs. I like PCs independent of games. I'm a, a I'm a nerd. I'm a tech guy, so I like messing with things. And I'll I'll sort it out. I always do. I'll sort it out till the next problem. You know how that goes. You never sort things out permanently. It's not like you fix a problem and then that's the last problem you ever have with your PC. You fix a problem and then a few days later you cause yourself another problem. And it goes on like that for a while. And then, out of nowhere, Windows updates. Or NVIDIA changes something. Or they, they put out a game patch. And then you have to start all over. And I think that's as weird as it is as it is to say this, I think that's part of the appeal. And I feel like, in some ways, this is going to sound dumb, don't laugh. I feel like in some ways, we sort of earn our games. Right. No. Not that one. That one. Right. I do have the time for the moment on one to one. I just need to get get some oil in here. Yeah, still loading a little bit of scenery. I apologize for that. Didn't need to take it in quite that far. Didn't need to take it in until we ran into the lift. Right. I think I'm close enough. Did we get it? Sure did. Okay. So, good on the oil change. Just got to back up. Wow, it's really morning here. It's 7.30 on a Sunday morning where I am. I'll try to get it together here for you. So, we did skip ahead. It's day 7. And I realized a couple of things. I realized... Since we're not planting grass, right, we found all that uh, additional grass that we can mow. Since we're not planting grass, we wouldn't have anything to do on day four, I think. And looking at the, the page for seasons, we also there are some maps and some some regions some regional weather setups that do have grass come up in the spring uh, to, uh, late spring it's toward the end of spring but you can harvest grass while it's still technically spring this map that is not so so we're going to have to wait until i think first day of summer before we can Concentrating. We're going to have to wait until the first day of summer before we can harvest any grass. And since everything was done as far as field prep, there was really no reason to have you sit through all that. Even if we had animals, I wouldn't expect you to sit through all that. So I went ahead and skipped ahead to day seven, and we can start drilling today. We can get the, I guess we'll use the T7 to get started because the T8 is going to be on this power harrow. And I just realized, oh, this day hasn't even started yet. This day is not cooperating. Although, to be fair, it's not the day that's not cooperating. It's just me that's being dumb. Uh, run back over to the store and get some fuel while we're here. I just looked down and noticed that we're just about out of gas. And I think I had a note to do that at the end of day three when we were at the store anyway. I'm leaving in the fail. That's my policy now is everything that we do on the farm, you'll get to see. Occasionally, I'll do something like finish a field just so we can end the episode on a, a round number, right? If, if we're at exactly an hour, I'll go ahead and finish a field. 
And you know, if you've seen us do the first 80% of the field, you don't need to see the last 20%. Unless you really want to. Let me know in the comments. So while that's filling, we can, I guess, think about what we could take back to the store. Take back to the farm with the fast track. And I can't think of anything. Um, we have our tractors. We have a front loader. Not doing a truck right now. Have to wait on the harvester. Not doing potatoes or sugar beets. We have our tipper. We have our bale trailer. We have a plow. Don't need an auger wagon. We have a cultivator. We have a seed drill. Not spreading manure at the moment. We're not spreading slurry at the moment. We don't need a... Uh, no, we don't need a water bowser at the moment. We have our mower. We're not tedding. We don't need to row. We have a loading wagon. We're not bailing. We have all this stuff. Yeah. That, miscellaneous, maybe, anything. Yeah, not really. Dollies. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll deadhead back to the farm, hop in the T7, and get the seed drill going. So I'm not sure what's going on with a set of Corsa, but I'm going to download a, the, the current V and get that installed and see. You know, I when I think about the games that, that we have access to, the games that we play, so right now I have, these are the main, main games in my folder. I have ATS, ETS. I have Farm Simulator. Cattle and crops. Spin tires. Project Cars 2. A set of Corsa. Did I miss it? Project Cars 2, a set of Corsa. Uh, no Forza, no iRacing. But, I mean, I have a ton of simulation games. So many of them. And the idea that when one isn't working, that that's somehow a problem. You know, it's not... I wouldn't say it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it, if you own something, you want it to work. But it is... Uh, let me go back to 5 to 1 time. It is, uh, I, I guess, for me, I don't know about you, I'll speak for myself, but I know I lose sight sometimes of how good we have it as far as simulation gaming, and there's even more out there that I'm just not into yet. You know, there, there are other, I have uh, Gold Rush, great game, never got into it. I have, uh, what else do I have for simulation? I have some city building games, I have... Uh, City Skylines, I have uh, Cities in Motion, which is just the, it's City Skylines, but it, it's mostly focused on transport and you know, building subways and that sort of thing. I have Planet Coaster. Um, I need to go over a little bit more. And those aren't really simulation games, but they are, um, you know, they're those kinds of games. So, uh, I'm trying to think what else. There were some other... Hmm. I think there may be one or two others that I'm just spacing at the moment and not thinking of them. But there are. there's no way I'm going to run dry. In fact, today I may do an ATS, uh, just sort of as a test video. I've got an ATS series going. I don't think I need another right now. But just the same, I may do an ATS video. So there's no shortage of content for me to put together and there's no shortage of games out there so I I have to check myself a little bit you know set a course that's frustrating uh, I when things don't work I do get frustrated 
There's that OCD. But ultimately, it's really not a big deal. And it's, it's easier to... I feel like it's easier to be bothered by these things than it is to take a minute and think about why we would be bothered by them. If that makes sense. We have a sip of tea here. And I've said before, I have... I have a pretty, pretty charmed life uh, when I think about how people in the, in the world, how some people in the world, you know, how their lives are and, and the challenges that they face. I'm really, really fortunate and I really don't have a lot of room to complain. And certainly having one of a dozen video games temporarily not functioning is certainly shouldn't be something that, that I get upset about. And, and I didn't get upset about it, but it did. Uh, it was sort of frustrating trying to track down the problem and figure out what's going on. There you go. There's my little philosophical rant for the day. Right. Deadhead the fast track over to the farm. We'll get the seed drill going. Uh, hmm. How do we want to do this? I'll stop when I when I get to the farm. I'll I'll pull up a map, and I'll show you what I'm thinking of in terms of what I want to plant and where. And we may, depending on how realistic we want to play. I may send the T6 with the front loader to the store, and we may load from pallets at the store. It's not really necessary. We could load from the hopper at the at the farm. But I'm just feeling like maybe we add that extra realism and load pallets. In fact, yeah, let's do that. I'll send the T6 with the bale trailer, and we can put some pallets of fertilizer and seed on the trailer and follow the T7 around as it makes its way from field to field drilling. Probably only going to do a couple of fields today, but you'll get the technique. And it's late spring now, so we're right around the corner from summer, and then we will finally be able to, well, as soon as this grass grows. Yeah, grass hasn't grown yet at all. As soon as this grass switches over to growth stage one, then we'll be able to put a second coat of furt on it. So yeah, right now we're, right now we have more time than tasks, but very quickly here, very soon, we're going to have more to do than we will have time to do it. I'm going to do my very best to keep the time compression on 5 to 1. I do pull it off when we need an oil change, because that, to me, that's, I would have put a little more time on there. I, I would have liked to see it be... I don't know, a couple hours warning, and then if you're playing compressed, that gives you half an hour to sort it out. As it is right now, you get nine minutes uh, at five to one. So when I do see the warning that you need an oil change, or that I need an oil change, I tend to drop the time compression down to one to one, at least till we get the oil change done. But as far as drilling and harvesting and spraying and that sort of thing, for all of that, I like to keep the compression at 5 to 1. I think that's fair. And we are, these nine day seasons, as I said, right now we were skipping days uh, because we had more time than we knew what to do with. But very soon here, probably before the end of this season, we will be running out of daylight consistently. A little frame drop there as we load scenery. So, yeah, you get what I'm saying. You've all, you've all played this game before. It's when you're starting out, there is plenty to do. Uh, reverse that. When you're starting out, there's plenty of time. And as it goes on, you just get busier and busier and busier. Sort of like real life.
so because he is because he's taking the long way around I'm going to throw this JCB in a parking space and grab the T6 first get the T6 going on course play back toward the store and then I'll come over and hop in the T7 get it kitted out with the seed drill and I'll drive the T7 over manually. Oh. Right. Here's our T6. We'll get some fuel before we go. Blue. I've been gotten in the habit of crashing into my fuel tanks here. Let's see if we can not do that. Right. Okay, no need to sit there. We'll go get the T7 moved over toward the drill. I just noticed something. Our tractors were pretty dirty. Well, they were really dirty. And it rained and they're clean now. And that was... I was under the impression that had been completely nerfed by seasons. I know it used to be that rain would wash your tractors, but I thought they had fixed that but it seems to be at the discretion of the map maker. So at least on this map, when it rains, it washes all the dirt off our tractors. I don't mind that. I just got used to having to clean tractors manually. And I believe, I haven't confirmed this, but I seem to remember reading somewhere that Seasons was set up so... Seasons was set up so the cleaner you kept your tractors, the less you paid in maintenance. And so it's not sitting there doing nothing. And because it has a bigger tank, let's get the T7, let's get the fuel flowing into the T7 while we're hooking up the trailer and getting the T6 set up on course play. All right. Okay. I'm back over here.
I just about hit that little stone wall on the left right there. I don't know if you saw how close I was to that. That was almost another example of me not being a good driver. I think I'm hurrying a little bit right now, and I'm not sure why I would be. I have plenty of time. I only have a few seeds to... A few seeds. A few fields to drill. I don't really have a whole lot to do at the moment. All right, course play. And we're going to send this fella All right. That's good. That's good. That's not good. When I set this course up, I oh game. Now, when I set this course up, I set the first point up a little too close to the the turn there. Should have set it up a little further away. We seem to run into this problem fairly often where the if you come out and make the turn onto the highway the tractors end up between the first and second point and then everything just nothing really works well. Right. Eventually we'll get our T6 off. And it goes. Okay. Back to the T7. I'll talk at you a little bit as we drive. I think I'm going to do wheat and barley in those fields on the other side of the map. And the reason is that we are going to have cows. And cows need straw. So I would need something that I can get straw bales from. And if I'm going to do that anyway, it would make sense to have it on the far side of the map. less distance for us to less distance for us to haul those bales and since we're we're going to do sheep at some point and we need them for the cows as well uh, the grass that I harvest on that far side of the map by the store by the dairy farm will be baled for the cows so the grass that we're going to harvest for silage starting on the first day of summer I think makes sense to harvest from the west side of the map, further away from the from the cows and the sheep. So we'll drill today. We'll drill. Uh, I guess we'll start with wheat and barley. Then we'll plant canola toward the farm. As we move, move closer to the farm, we'll plant canola. 
because we're more likely to put that in a farm silo. We may sell it directly, but we will occasionally put that in a farm silo. With seasons, they're nice enough to give you a, a chart of prices. So say for canola, we're going to harvest it in the fall, but it's best time to sell it is middle of winter. So we will put that in a silo. And for that reason, I would prefer that we grow it closer to the farm so we have less distance to drive, save time and save fuel. And remember, we've only got that tiny little heron tipper right now. So we don't want to be making a ton of trips. There's that. sure how far along the T6 is. It's probably very close to the store, so we'll get there just after it does. T6 is at the store. I don't know how the council would... I mean, I'd probably be thrown out of town right now if I was driving around blind corners 30 miles an hour in the middle of the street. I think... I think I may... I think I may get a knock on my door if I was doing that in real life. So, here we go. Now this, we'll load fertilizer in the front hopper first. We'll do that to keep the front of the, front of the tractor nice and heavy so it doesn't lift. Putting seed in the seed drill with this Lempkin it's it's tricky it's like you want to be right between the right between the arms and they're just a little bit too narrow for a pallet so it's you'll see when we get to it it's I don't I mean I guess in real life maybe you put the arms down bring the seat in above them don't know Okay, so we drop that. that. Right there. Break on. Right here. And we'll just do this right here. Sort of at a neutral angle. No, that's not neutral at all. About well, we're gonna be right in the middle of everything parked right there, but so it goes. You see what I mean? It's very difficult to get a pallet in there. In fact, I don't even feel good about it. Let's let's go ahead and drop these arms now. So we'll start with the start with the fertilizer. Only in the front. And I believe we're gonna do two fields down here, so whether it takes one or two, we'll still need the second one. I'm not sure why my lights are on. Okay. This is a big parking lot. Somehow it's still very tight. Not 
quite that far. Now the, the lid on the seat compartment on the drill is animated, but the lid on the front hopper is not. So we're just going to need to use our imagination. Okay, 100% fertilizer, so it does take... Let's take a thousand liters so then we can go with seed now. It's a thousand liters of seed. Let me get that in there. One, one drawback to playing with uh, gamepad instead of wheel and pedals is I have to take my hand off the gamepad to operate my joystick so there are there are some pauses I'm trying to get this lined up just right nope How about right there there we go cover Open the cover. Oh, there we go. Found it. And, okay. 600 liters. No, no. Six hundred liters, and the T8 is done. You know what? Let's get that off the field right now. Now we'll start with field 34. We can we can move the T8 as we're running past it. So put the cover back on. Lift it. Fold it. Take the brake off. There we go. Yeah, it took me a minute to get myself together this morning, and it's it's always uh, not weird. That's not quite the right word. It's I'm really enjoying making these videos, and it's it still sort of fascinates me almost that I still really enjoy gaming, but you know, trying to make one episode per day or one one recording per day it's still sort of fascinating for me to realize that even when I'm maybe not feeling it I still need to still need to get things done so You know, I thought that was a hedge, and as I was just about to hit it, I thought, that's not a hedge, there's a fence post in there. Uh, and sure enough, there is. Okay. So, course play. Uh, field work. 
fertilizing and seeding. All right, we want field 34, six meters, starting here, two headlands, all right, all right. We'll slow down a little bit for that. Impossible. Right. And we are on wheat. I forget that all the time. I get everything else set up and I, I have the seed drill set to the wrong crop. Can't tell you how many times I've done that. Right. Turn the map off. We're going to start. Fertilizer function activated. First waypoint. Ridge markers deactivated. Stop at the last point. Right. Here we go. I could have checked this sooner, but off, 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 off. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to need to keep a close eye on that because I don't know. And we used, wow, almost 5% of both our consumables on that first very short pass. So it is going to be a race to get down here. Get into T7. Sorry, the T8. Turn off course play. Clear course. You hop outside. Four-wheel drive. Turn it off. Four-wheel drive. Transport. Sorting on the farm. It's all good. It's all good. First waypoint. There he goes. Here's your problem. I got one, one blade there and one blade there. Huh. Okay. So this is seed on here now, right? Square it up a little better.
Right, now my plan is, my plan, oh I got plans. My plan is, is I put the, I'm going to run seed down one side and fertilizer down the other just so I can keep track of it. And my plan is, my plan is to use the second one that I put in to square up the first one. That may or may not work. Let's see. All right. All right. And how are we doing on consumables? Oi, that is, that seed drill is really going through some product. And now this is better than the 40 series that we had in episode one. We're not tipping quite as badly as that, but it's still getting a little bit light in the rear end. All right. So this is the important one according to my plan. Because this is all we're going to use to square up the first one. I'm hurrying a little bit here, and I typically don't like hurrying because that's when I make mistakes. Tree is not helping things. And I'm also noticing, I feel like everything is twisting to the left when it hits these pallet forks. I don't know if that's me. Don't know if that's just something I'm seeing. Don't know if it's something I'm doing. Okay. And we need 
to fertilizer. Bounce it down? Nope, that didn't work. Well, not the best timing. I wish I would have been there a minute or so sooner, but we'll get 100% replacement, right? It's all the way dry, at least on fertilizer. So we'll get maximum value for our refill. And I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Too much ETS2. Well, I'll tell you one one thing that I've learned. Is we are going to Wow. I, going a little quicker than I thought. Okay. Something that I've learned is we are going to No. For the moment, we're going to stop, stop the driver. Don't need those lights on. Yeah, I made pretty good progress in this field. Uh, better than I would have thought.
Drop the trailer. Now those straps in the back, this is the seed and this is the fertilizer. I drop those straps in the back because sometimes the strap to the left or to the right of the pallet that you're trying to move will continue to sort of not restrain it, you know what I mean, it'll sort of, it'll catch it, it'll sort of stick. Now, the way this episode has been going, I think what we'll do is call it right here after we get this field done. Better than the 40 series, but you can see we're definitely getting some bounce. Uh, needed a, a weight on the back of this. Couldn't really run a weight on the back of it right now, though, because we're pulling a trailer. So we're just going to need to be very careful. Very careful here. Now, it looks like we're running ridge markers there. And I was almost positive I turned those off. So when we turn course play back on, I'll need to double check and see what it is that's going on. All right, missed it. Missed it. Okay. There it is. There's Spurt. Go get some seeds. And I'll see. We're gonna, everything's going to go to pieces now. We're going to end up with multiple half full pallets. Not the end of the world. I believe it's the first, first one on the left side. First one on the... Yeah not the end of the world. All right. All right. A little bit more. There we go. what I'll do is leave this pallet on here and when the seed drill comes off the field that's not that's not very realistic Clipping through the ridge marker is not realistic, but I've, I'm also doing my best not to drive on this freshly seeded field. And trying not to crash into our, oh dear, trying not to crash into our seed drill. Had it just for a second. There it goes.
cover on. Oh. See what I did? When I paused just out of habit, I also deleted the course that we were on. And it's not going to calculate a course identical to that unless we calculate it from the same place. Mm hmm. Moment, please. Field 34. Everything's still set up. Right. See if we got lucky here. Right there. Sure did. Okay. From nearest waypoint, activate ridge markers, deactivate right there, right there. Save that. Let's see what, see what time, time we got. 12 minutes. What can we do for 12 minutes? Hmm. So he's good for now. And like I said, I will. I'll just leave this seed on the pallet fork. And. As soon as the T7 is done, what do we have here? Two of each, and then this seed bag has 400 liters in it. Okay. So I will, yeah, I'll just leave that, that bag of seed, half a bag of seed, on the pallet fork. And when the T7 gets done, I'll, I'll top it off here. Send it over to field 32, get it started there, and go back to the store put more pallets on the trailer and then just follow as I said just follow the T7 across the map as it continues drilling right. yeah yeah and then we'll be able to harvest grass first day of summer looks like but we've got a very narrow window for planting um, so I'll try to get this wheat in. I want to get some canola in. If I run out of time, if I can't do all my drilling in three days, I can't see why I wouldn't be able to, but if for some reason I can't, then I can just go to soybeans, which I might do anyway, but it's a, it's also a fallback. If I run out of time and cannot get my wheat and canola in before that window closes, then I'll just continue drilling something else. Okay, folks, I think rather than wait around another... Now, it said 12, but the, the estimates are a little bit dynamic. So, well, this one holds. we got 10 minutes left, but I'm not going to expect you to watch your seed drill drive back and forth for 10 minutes. So we'll call it an episode right there. Thank, thank you. <laughs> this, I'm just going to delete all this. This is terrible. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for coming to check out the Portable Gamer. Thank you for joining us on Upton Farm, and we will see you next time. Take care.